What's going on all my healthcare professionals? I hope that you're all having a wonderful day. Today we're continuing on with our ATIT's question review series and we're going to be discussing chemistry. A solution with a pH of 13 is considered to be which of the following? A. A weak acid. B. A strong acid. C. A weak base. Or D. A strong base. And the correct answer is D, a strong base. A solution with a pH of 13 is a strong base. Household bleach and oven cleaners are two examples of strong bases. A hydrocarbon with one triple bond is called an blank. Which of the following correctly completes the sentence above? Is it A, alkyne, B, alkane, C, alkene, or D, anion? And the correct answer is A, alkyne. An alkane has a single bond. An alkene has a double bond. Alkynes are characterized by their triple bonds. And an anion refers to the negatively charged end of an ionic bond. Which of the following is the chemical formula for pentane? Is it A, C6H12, B, C8H12, C, C5, H12, or D, C7, H12? And the correct answer is C, C5, H12. Pentene is a member of the alkane family. It has five carbon atoms giving it its name. Which of the following describes the phase change in sublimation? Is it A, solid to liquid, B, liquid to gas, C, solid to gas, or D, liquid to solid? And the correct answer is C, solid to gas. Sublimation is the process in which solid skips the liquid state and becomes a gas immediately. This somewhat wear phase change is seen in a special compound like dry ice, which goes from a solid to a steam at room temperature. Choice A, solid to liquid, is known as melting. Choice B, liquid to gas, can be characterized by vaporization evaporation, or even boiling, depending on the energy unit. And choice D, liquid to solid, is typically known as freezing. A solid item X with a density of 0.197 grams per centimeter is placed in a beaker containing an aqueous substance Y with a density of 1 gram per centimeter. Which of the following things do you expect to happen? Is it A, X will float on the surface, B, X will sink halfway down the beaker. C, X will sink to the bottom of the beaker. Or is it D, X and Y have such close density that X will move around freely within the Y? And the correct answer is A, X will float on the surface. The relative densities of solids and liquids are important to determine how they will react. A solid that is denser than a liquid will sink when placed in it. A solid that is less dense will float. A molecule that is acted upon by an enzyme is called a blank. Which of the following correctly completes the sentence above? Is it A, solvent, B, solution, C, substrate, or D, sievert? And the correct answer is C, substrate. Enzymes are proteins that act as catalysts. They speed up chemical processes. Without them, these reactions would take longer. Enzymes act upon a molecule known as a substrate. Which of the following represents an example of ionic bonding? Is it A, the bonding of nonmetal atoms, B, the sharing of electrons, C, the transfer of electrons, or D, the bonding of metal atoms? And the correct answer is C, the transfer of electrons. Ionic bonds differ from covalent bonds in that they transfer an electron from one compound to another rather than sharing electrons. They occur between metals and nonmetals in conjunction. Which of the following hydrocarbons contains double bonds? Is it A, C2H8, B, C6H8, C, C8, H6, or D, C12, H24? And the correct answer is D, C12, H24. Hydrogen bonds come in different forms. 
Double bonds form among hydrocarbons in different ways as well, but the ratio is always one carbon atom to every two hydrogen atoms. The basic form of C1H2 or C12H24 is the only example given that fits this two to one ratio. Which of the following is a function of enzymes? Is it A, stop a reaction, B, speed up a reaction, C, slow down the reaction rate, or D, reduce the number of reactions? And the correct answer is B, speed up the reaction rate. Enzymes serve as catalysts in chemical reactions. They speed up reaction times by lowering the energy required to activate a reaction. They change the environment in which a reaction takes place without being altered by the reaction themselves. Moving on to our last question, question 10. Liquids have the capability of flowing. Which of the following statements below explains this phenomenon? Is it A, the spacing of particles is close together? B, the spacing of particles is far apart? C, the particles give glide over one another? Or D, the particles are attracted to one another? And the correct answer is C, the particles can glide over one another. Choice A could apply to both liquids and solids. Choice B could apply relatively to gases and liquids. And choice D can apply to solids as well as liquids. The ability of particles to move fluidly in what describes as the viscosity of liquids, meaning the only correct answer is choice C. I hope that these question review series are helpful in helping you pass the ATITs like a boss. Make sure that you follow me on my social media. I'm on Facebook, Instagram, and of course here on YouTube. Make sure that you subscribe. And I highly recommend that you check out my website at nursechung.com where I have additional practice questions to help you get a little bit further in your studies. If you have any questions, please feel free to leave them down below. I love answering them. And until next time, I hope that y'all have a wonderful day and I will see you all again soon. Bye.